All right, this next news story comes to us from IGN, written by Michael Kripe. God of War's Christopher Judge seemingly won't voice young Kratos out of respect for TC Carson. God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok's Christopher Judge is uninterested in voicing a younger version of Kratos out of respect for the original uh, the, the character's original actor, Terrence C. Carson. As reported by The Gamer, Judge shed light on his feelings about the Ghost of Sparta's early days during a live stream event with Streamly. He says that although Kratos is a role he did not want to take lightly, he also wanted to focus on leaving his own mark on the character. I never watched any of the scenes from the earlier God of War games because TC's so great. I thought it would be a disservice to try to voice match him or anything, nor did they ask for it, Judge said. From the very beginning, it was about making it my own. Uh, Judge continues to say that even if PlayStation developer Santa Monica Studio had asked him to work off of Carson's portrayal, he would have said no. Interestingly, when highlighting Carson's work, the current Kratos actor, actor added that he was offered something not too long ago, but turned it down. They wanted me to, to somewhat match the voice of the character, and I said, absolutely not, Judge explained. I love this dude. That would be such a slight. We are not celebrated for what we as individuals bring to stuff. Uh, that's across the board, no matter what you do. We just think it's inherently wrong to try to commandeer something else that someone else has already established. Um, there's some spoilers for Valhalla DLC that I won't read there, potential. But uh, yeah, so I that this is a huge W for Christopher Judge. He's already Love like him. a legit dude. Love him. He is already an awesome dude. And then for him to be like, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to encroach in his space. Like, he already did that. He did an incredible job. There's no need to rehash that and, like, yeah, or even copy it. Like, kind of make a, a second-rate copy of it, you know? Right. Um, it was already done extremely well first time around. So, yeah, uh, I, I, I can respect that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I never... I mean, of course, it's a different person, so it sounds different. But I never... It never took me out of this is one of the rare new castings that it never took me out of this isn't the same character anymore because because of the new perspective and how much time has passed for Kratos yeah. it felt like this is that same character but he's had you know uh in the in the terms of I guess godhood he's had millennia to think about and and mature and he's also experienced different perspectives as far as relationships, right? He's had another uh, wife who's made him think about life differently. So who's to say his voice couldn't change with age? You know? Yeah. Um, and I think both of them have done a dynamite job. And I, I, I know people love to say, oh, Kratos, in the old games, he was just, he was just mad guy all the time. That honestly is so reductive of of the first three god of war games and and the the psp games because there was a lot going on around kratos and they absolutely fleshed him out especially in the psp games you got to see a lot more of his uh introspective side uh and kind of like how he was dealing with the situation and you know uh uh there was one game that even focused on his relationship with his brother that, okay. you know, because nobody played those games that they didn't really get to see that Kratos actually, yes, he was upset, but at the same time, he was made a slave and made to kill his own family. It's yeah. absolutely warranted. I would be that upset if somebody made me do that. So why, why is it not okay for him to do that? right you know but I, I say that to say tc's performance was excellent those games are great um and i think christopher judge is also doing a fantastic job uh i i do think and i do have and that that's one of my qualms with uh santa monica we don't know exactly how it happened but apparently they didn't even tell tc that he was being recasted they didn't even let him come and like right. re-audition for it because they said oh He's going to be too small. I said, what do you mean he's going to be too small? We just had last year, Lady Dimitrescu is eight feet tall. Her her actress isn't eight feet tall. They just right. sized up the model. Why couldn't we have done that with TC? If you wanted a different perspective on the, on the character, that's one thing. But at least tell the guy before you just recast him. Right. Because that's what he had said in the interview. He said, they didn't even tell me they were recasting. They, they didn't even give me a chance to come in. 
Yeah. Um, and I know you were trying to to uh, to uh, keep spoilers uh, for the Valhalla DLC, which is totally fine. We can do that, but um, I don't know how to say. It. I, I guess we kind of you know bread breadcrumb trailed our way into it because we're talking about two different voice actors here. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not crazy, okay? So there's a, there's a part where. Kratos encounters his younger self. That's all I'll say about it, okay? Yeah. Now, that would have been a perfect opportunity for them to reach out to TC and have him come in and let Judge's Kratos have a conversation with his younger self as TC. They didn't do it. So, I feel like that bridge was already burned. I feel like if they would have asked him now, he probably wouldn't have even said yeah, just because of I would have felt slighted, slighted. You know, like yeah. how, uh, oh my God, your boy, your Metal Gear boy. Oh, David Hayter. David Hayter. Yeah, getting recast by Keith, Kiefer Sutherland. This right. out of nowhere, like didn't even get warned. It's like, hey, are you in the new Metal Gear game? And he's like, never even what got Metal a call. Gear game? Nothing, yeah, <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like, oh no, Kiefer Sutherland, what? Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> they, they unfortunately, and, and like I said, we don't know what, the ins and outs of it. Of course, we're not in those meetings. We don't know what it is. But if that's the case and they didn't even give him a chance to come back and, you know, try to do it, that was definitely not a good look on Santa Monica. Um, But to bring it back to the story, uh, major props to to Chris Judge. That is a really, that shows a lot of integrity uh, for him as a performer and a lot of, um, he gets a lot of cool points from me because he shows a lot of respect to other actors and he doesn't want to uh, encroach on their performances and wants to make his own mark. So I'm all about it. Sorry, I started laughing. I saw <laughs> Yogurt Archangel in the chat. It says what? LMFAO. Tell me where you find these eight foot tall female video game character models. I have huge pajangas. I need to book a ticket. <laughs> Move over. Move over. I'm right there in the aisle seat, brother. Where are we going? Oh, no. Where are we going? <laughs> Oh man, uh, <laughs> so good. Oh man, where where does Resident Evil Village take place? Is it somewhere over in Europe? I think it's in Europe because those big Victorian European castles. The I Amazon. Yo, Europe, he yogurt. says he's, he says the Amazon. <laughs> I think. No, not the Amazon. We're looking for Amazonians. Right, right, right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that clip from our podcast. Remember, if you want to watch the whole episode, the full episode, link will be in the description below. You can click on that and uh, check it out. We got listener questions. We got more news segments. We got uh, what you're playing. We got a lot of fun things. So yeah, more than just the news. There's a little more, a lot more to the show that you should go check out. So remember, click that link in the description. Check out that full episode.